The city of Peterborough, which has a population of 75,000, lies 75 miles northeast of Toronto on the Otonabee River. Let's take a visit to City Hall for a welcoming message from Mayor Daryl Bennett. Let me, let me start by uh, welcoming you to the uh, city of Peterborough and welcoming the opportunity to, uh, to tell people a bit about our city by, uh, by video display. It's a great uh, uh, method of uh, sending the information out and once it gets out, it stays there. It's, uh, it's spectacular uh, technology and it's uh, great to be a part of it. The city has lots to offer and the video that uh, you'll, uh, you'll see uh, will uh, give you lots of uh, good thoughts about uh, this great community. The city is named in honour of Peter Robinson, an early Canadian politician who oversaw the first major immigration to the area from Ireland. This plaque directed in honour of nearly 2,000 Irish settlers who sailed from Cork Harbour under the leadership of the Honourable Peter Robinson and arrived in the area in the autumn of 1825, settling in the town of Peterborough and the surrounding townships. The Otonaby River flows into Little Lake in downtown Peterborough. From here, Lift lock and riverboat cruises leave daily during the summer months. Here we see the riverboat in dock beside Little Lake Marina. The Trent Severn Waterway is the name given to Southern Ontario's 240 miles of waterway, utilising 41 locks and two hydraulic lift locks. The waterway, consisting of a series of rivers, lakes and man-made canals, winds its way through four regions. From Lake Ontario, we have the Trent region in the east, the Kawatha region, where Peterborough is located, the Simcoe region and the Severn region which opens into Georgian Bay. Peterborough lift lock shown here on opening day 1904 with a lift of 65 feet. This is the highest hydraulic lift lock in the world and the first of two built in North America, both on the Trent Severland Waterway. Among innovations made on this lift, this was the first time concrete was used. Each boat chamber rests on a massive ram which travels up and down the water-filled cylinders. The lift lock was designed to lift boats over a considerable height in a shorter period of time than has been possible with the more conventional locks at the time. There goes one of the daily lift lock and river boat cruises. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, is everybody ready? Yes? My name is Bill Porter from Energy 99.7 and Country 105. We are proud supporters of this year's 25th anniversary 
of the Little Lake Music Fest, and I'm proud to introduce you to the Peterborough Pop Ensemble. Barbara Monahan, a prolific composer and arranger and the director of the ensemble, has provided the group with some of its most popular repertoire, some of which you're going to get the pleasure of hearing tonight. And the ensemble performs concerts supporting local charities, and they also celebrate the way that music brings us all together universally over time and place. Now, it has been said, ladies and gentlemen, that no other group supports their community as much as this small, dynamic ensemble. And tonight, they are thrilled to be here at the Little Lake Music Fest and performing for you live. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Here they come. The Peterborough Pop Ensemble! Canada Day Parade, held on July the 1st, is quite a simple affair compared to an American 4th of July parade, particularly in a small town like Peterborough. Peterborough Peets are a junior hockey team in the Ontario Hockey League.
Welcome to another edition of Local Matters. My name is Paul Wilson, and on Local Matters, I guest again is His Worship Mayor Daryl Bennett. Um, first of all, Daryl, I was privileged to be at your breakfast meeting with the warden, yeah. which you, you're having monthly meetings with the warden, are you? Yes, we are. You were, uh, you were our invited inaugural guest, we'll call that. <laughs> that was we, the... uh, we had it out at Kylie's in yes. Warsaw, and we had uh, Jay at the head of the table and you at the other head of the table. <laughs> no, I was at the bottom of the table. Well, foot of the table, but technically there were two heads that All day. Right. So that was, a, that was a great time for us and it was a good kickoff to uh, getting together once a month to uh, just discuss things in general in a very casual uh, atmosphere. And, and uh, Daryl, it would seem to me to be uh, the beginning of a very useful relationship between you and the warden. I'm, I'm hoping that that's what you saw. We, we've had uh, great chats about a number of things that are of mutual interest to uh, both the county and the city, and I think this is a good way to uh, further those endeavors. So, Good relationship there. Good. And that's important. Is it, it's really important because I don't think Jay has that many friends. <laughs> I think he does, actually. <laughs> I think he does. I mean, in a He'll way... He'll with me for that one.